if you're a little slow, right, he shoots the double on me, boom, I check, I'm, I'm reaching for this Kimura, he jumps to my back right away. So we're here, okay? Again, we're still good. What I'm gonna do now, very simple. And then my catch here, okay? There's a lot of ways we could throw that. That was the nice version, okay? So he shoots, I pop my hips, I reach for this Kimura, he takes advantage, gets behind me, okay? All I'm doing is a little foot sweep here, right? Where I'm gonna get my foot in front of his, and then I use my Kimura to twist, all right? So that's what creates a trip here, boom. I could also jump right over there if I wanted to, right? Although I wouldn't do that, I would rather just get to top, right? So when you finish here, I'm kind of doing like a Grammy roll, going shoulder to shoulder, and then whoop, popping here. My goal is to try to avoid going across his legs, because then I might get captured in a half guard of sorts, all right? Now, if you wanted to be meaner with this, boom, he comes up. You could also do like a Haraya Goshi here, right, where when I lift, I could kick up. I don't like teaching this or doing it in class rather because he has no break fall. And the few times I've tried it, I've always popped someone's rib. All right, because basically when I throw him, I would throw, and then my hips land on the rib cage. All right, and I'm kind of big boned, all right, being nice. All right, so if I, if I went for that, it's the same thing though. I'm loading up, I'm up, up on my hips as I pull. All right. But if you just wanted an easy training safe version, it's just foot out, pull, boom. And now from here, again, rolling on my shoulders, I get my legs across. And again, Alvin's already smart. He's always covering his face there because yeah, he's gonna eat some hip when I jump over, boom. And then right away, I have a side mount Kimura. I could also jump back to the same side Kimura here too, okay? Uh, a few things. Whenever someone has your back here, I want to work quickly, okay? If I just sit here for a while, he's gonna get a good position to throw, suplex me, whatever the case may be. If you feel that he is gonna lift you, hook a leg, right? So if Alvin locks his hands or whatnot, I get a leg hooked here, it's gonna make it much harder for him to get any lift because I've anchored myself to his hips, okay? But generally, the way this sequence would work, boom, boom, he comes here, stands up, bam, right there, I'm going. I'm not gonna wait for him to adjust and get a good body lock. So this is one of the things I know if I'm going to do this Kimura trap against a double leg, there is a chance he might take my back. And I'm already a step ahead of him. I know if he starts circling around, boom, right away, launch him. Questions? Let's do it on three. Ready? One, two, three. Oop. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be alerted when the next video drops. Now, if you want to get more videos like this on a daily basis, go and visit my membership site at ffacoach.com. We have online video curriculums, our daily videos, and you can get bonus courses like the Kimura Trap System for free when you enroll today. So go ahead and help support the channel and visit today.